Hey guys, I'm just going to continue with the, the example we looked at in the previous video. So we have this cylinder here, and we're given the pressure at 1 and the pressure at 2. We're given the, the height of the cylinder, its diameter. We're given k equals 0 0.001 centimeters per second, and we've been asked to find the time for 1 centimeter, cube, one centimeter cubed of water to flow through this system. So, once again, we know that Q equals K A D H on D L. Okay, so we're going to go find this flow rate Q. So we know K has it's been given. We know A, a we can find A easily. A is just the area, so it's going to be pi by diameter or R squared is pi by five squared. Okay. So pi by 5 squared, we get 78.5 centimeters squared, okay? We now need to go and find dh and dl. So straight away, we know that if we're dealing with head, we're going to have to use a datum. So we're going to define, we'll just define our datum at the bottom. So there's our datum. So at the point 1, which is up here, we know head is z1 plus the pore water pressure divided by the unit weight. Okay, the elevation Z1 is one meter, so it equals one plus the pressure has been given as 20 kilopascals, so it's 20 on 9.81. Okay, so 20 divided 9.81 plus one is 3.04 meters. Just once again, I'm being consistent with my units. 20 kPa is a kPa is the same as a kilonewton per meter squared, and this is in kilonewtons per meter cubed. When we do this, we're going to get back to meters. Okay, the head at two equals Z2 plus the pore water pressure on gamma W.